Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy. Today we are going to learn about folding door. This is going to be a teakwood folding door and it is going to be consisting of four leaves, one, two, three, four, or four shutters. And if we look at the plan of this door, what we'll see is that it has a total width of 2.4 meters which has been shown here in plan. It has a height which is going to be equal to 2.1 meters as can be seen in the section. So now let us try to see the details of this door. So the first thing that you will notice is that the dimension 2.4 meters has been shown from the unfinished surface to the unfinished surface of the wall. That means that the plaster which has been shown over here is going to be within the 2.4 meter distance. So what you are seeing here is a brick wall, 230 thick brick wall and this is the door which is going to be fixed within the 230 thick brick wall which has a width of 2.4 meters. Now this door has got basically two components. One is the frame of the door and second is going to be the door shutters. So right now what you are seeing in the plan is the frame of the door. So if we zoom into this what we will see is that this is a frame which is made out of a 65 by 120 teakwood section and it consists of vertical members which are called as the posts. So this is one post here and the other post on the other side. So these are the posts of the frame which are also called as the vertical members and if you look at the top of the frame you will see that the horizontal member here consists of the head. The same horizontal member can be seen here in section. So the frame of the door consists of basically two members, post and the head. So two posts and one head. Now let us try to see the frame more in detail as to how it has been cut or how the notches have been made inside the frame and what are the sizes of these members. So let us go and zoom into this particular part of the frame and what you will see is that the total frame consists of a dimension of 65 by 120 and within this frame you will see that there are two plaster notches 12 by 12 on this side and 12 by 12 on this side and then there is one more notch which has been made here which is going to be of a distance of 12 mm this way and 40 mm this way so this is called as the rebate. Now the reason for having this as 40 mm is because the door shutter is going to be of a thickness of 40 mm and this dimension 12 mm is going to be a standard dimension for any type of door. Now let us try to see why the plaster notches are kept here. So you will notice that when we are talking about the plaster you will see that the plaster is coming from the wall and it is getting tucked into this 12 by 12 plaster notch. If this was not so, then what would have happened is that at the point where the plaster touched the door frame, there would be a gap created because of the constant expansion and contraction of the wooden member because of the absorption and release of moisture from the atmosphere. And therefore, to hide the crack or anything that can be developed here, we need to put the plaster inside the frame and that is done by having this notch which is 12 by 12. So you can see here the frame again and the frame on this side also. The frame are secured to the or inside the wall by means of what is called as a hold fast. So this hold fast is going to be about 150 in width and it is going to be made out of the galvanized iron section. We'll see about more about holdfast in some other video. 
it is assumed that you know a little bit about hold fast because you have learned it in your first year now let us see the parts of the shutter so what we are seeing here if you look at this total dimension of 2.4 meters from this part to this part you will see that this has been divided into four shutters which are of equal length there are two shutters opening in this direction and two shutters opening in this direction that has been shown here by the dotted lines here so the dotted lines are indicating the shutters in the open position now if we look at the detail of one shutter what you will see is that a shutter is made out of these two members that is this member and this member these members are called as the style so if you look at this this is called as the style so there is 40 by 100 tikkud style there are going to be two styles for any one shutter you will see that the shutter has got a glass in between so what you will see is that in between the shutter you will see that there is a glass this glass is a 6 mm thick clear float glass and the glass is fitted to the style by means of these two 12 by 12 members which we call as the beading so if we look at this in detail what you will see is that this is the 6 mm clear float glass and it has been fixed to the styles by means of 12 by 12 tick wood beading so this is how the shutter is going to be seen in the plan now obviously we have got these two shutters opening this way and these two shutters opening this way and therefore in the center part you will be having a notch like this so you can see here how this notch has been created the distance between these two is about 12 mm and this is the this is going to be in the center of the door now these two lines the blue lines which you see here and here these are going to be the lines which are going to be seen of the rail which is going to be seen in elevation if you'll observe these shutters are fixed by means of a hinge as you can see this hinge consists of these two parts and then there is a knuckle these two parts of the hinge are actually inserted into the style by making a cut in the style and then the hinges are screwed into the style on this side and the frame on the other side so this is the hinge which you can see here on this side and a similar hinge you will see on the other side here so there is not only one hinge but there are total four hinges which are there for the door but now see what happens in the next shutter so whenever there are two shutters joining each other in at the fold you will see now that the hinge is on the other side of the door so this hinge is on this side of the door this is hinge is on the other side of the door and it has been fixed to the two styles now the hinges can be seen in elevation if you look at the elevation of this door what you will see is that these thick blue lines which you are seeing here one two three and four these thick blue lines are indicating the hinges so we call them as heavy duty hinges and ss stands for stainless steel hinges so these can be of stainless steel or they can be out of brass they can be out of gun metal and so on so they can be out of different types of metal but here in this particular case we are saying that they are heavy duty ss hinges and there are four hinges here you will also observe that the first two hinges are close by to the upper part of the door and then the next two hinges are evenly distributed along the height of the door so this is what we call as the hinge of the door now the next thing which we are seeing here is going to be the section line AE so what we are doing is we are taking a section like this and we are looking in this direction so as to draw a section through the door so the same section now we'll zoom into it and see what we are going to see in section so what we are going to see in section is going to be something like this at the top part you will see that this is the brickwork then there is the lintel rcc lintel and then just below the lintel you will see that this is the door frame which is again 65 by 120 tick wood frame again the similar cuts will be made in the frame like the two plaster notches and the ribet 
Now on this side what you will see is that there is a sort of a chamfer given for decorative purpose and therefore you will see these lines, this line, this line, this line and this line. These are the lines which are seen in elevation. These two lines are the lines of the jam of the wall and these two lines are indicating the chamfer which is there in the frame. Now just at the top of this door, what you are going to see is a member here. This is going to be called as a top rail. So this top rail consists of 40 mm by 150 mm. The height is 150 mm and you will see that the glass has been fixed into it by means of this teak wood beading again 12 by 12 teak wood beading. Now this top rail is also seen in elevation. So let us go to the elevation and see where we are seeing the top rail. So here we are seeing the top rail. This is 40 by 150 top rail. Same way we are going to see a lock rail which is going to be at a distance of about 900 up to the center from the finished floor level. The size of the lock rail is slightly bigger in the sense that the height of the lock rail is slightly bigger. So it is 40 by 200 lock rail. So the same thing you can see is here that's 40 by 200 lock rail which is at a distance of 900 from the FFL. The center of this lock rail is at 900 from FFL. Same way at the bottom what you are going to see is that this is the bottom rail. This is again 40 by 150 and another thing that you will observe is that this is separated from the finish floor level or lifted up from the finish floor level by 10 mm. So this is essential because the door should not rub on the floor when it slightly deflects or uh, droops down. Therefore a gap of 10 mm is necessary to be kept. Now here you are going to see two lines. One line, this is the thick line is the finished floor level and the bottom dotted line is the RCC slab. So between these two there will be a screed and then there will be a flooring material which will be there on the top. So both these lines are indicating uh, the finished floor level and the level of the slab. So the same thing can be here seen here. FFL stands for finished floor level and the dotted line stands for slab level. So this is about the section. So I think the section uh, should be clear from this. One more thing which you will observe is that the 2.1 meter height again is now being shown from the RCC bottom of the RCC lintel to the finish floor level and whatever extra is going to be there that is the 50 mm or 75 mm whatever the distance will be will be over and above that that is it will be 2150 2175 as the case may be. Now what you will see is that again here in elevation we will see these two vertical members of the frame this and this here. These two vertical members are called as the post. So these posts are from the head right down into the flooring. They will go inside. They will also go within the flooring and this therefore you will seeing this dotted here and here. So these are the two posts which you are seeing. At the top what you are see, seeing here is the head. Now this head is the top portion of the frame. The head and the post, they are going to be joined together by means of a tenon mortise joint. So there will be one tenon mortise joint here and another tenon mortise joint here. I have not shown the details of this in this particular drawing but I will show them in a separate video. Now the head is also projecting outside into the wall on both the side like 100 in this case and 100 in this case. So these two projections here 100 and 100 these are called as the horns. So the top portion of the frame uh, or the head projects inside the wall called as a horn. Other things that you will see in this case are is the glass at the top and at the bottom what you will see is that there are panels and this is going to be a 18 mm thick plywood panel. So if you look at the section again, you will see how the panel is fixed inside the frame. Now there is no beading here to fix the panel, but the panel is actually inserted inside the lock rail 
and inserted inside the bottom rail. So this is the 18 mm thick plywood panel. You will also notice that this there is small gap left here for expansion contraction of this panel. Similarly, whenever you are going to put the glass also, you will see that at the top of the glass here, you are going to have some gap left out here for expansion of the glass. And the glass is fixed with the help of the beading. So this is the same thing is going to be seen in the elevation glass at the top and plywood panels at the bottom. So remember this 18 mm thick plywood panel and 6 mm thick clear float glass. Now let us talk about the hardware of the door. As you can see the door has got a lot of hardware to it. So the first hard, uh, hardware which we are seeing here is the SS Uldrop or the stainless steel Uldrop which is going to be in the center of the uh, door. Then you are also seeing the tower bolts here, two tower bolts here and two more tower bolts here. So you, these tower bolts are provided so that these two doors can be kept in a fixed position and only the two central doors can be opened if required or by opening all the tower bolts you can open all the four shutters. So same way you are seeing the tower bolts at the bottom also. But one important thing that you should note here is that the tower bolts at the bottom are slightly longer than the tower bolts at the top. The reason being is that one need not bend too much to operate the uh, tower bolts at the bottom. And therefore the tower bolts are purposefully kept as slightly higher. Now just see why we are going to see so many dotted lines in this particular elevation. So what you will see is this is the top dotted line is going to be what is the line which we are seeing inside the plaster notch. So this is why the dotted line is there at the top. Then the second dotted line which we are seeing here is going to be the dotted line of this particular 12 mm part which is there which we are seeing. Therefore this is the dotted line. Again similarly this particular dotted line is going to be indicating the plaster notch and this particular line is going to indicate again the this 12 mm part of the rebet. So that is why we are seeing so many lines in dotted here in elevation. Also you will see that these dotted lines here and here are because these particular plywood is inside inserted inside the frame and therefore to indicate that it is inserted inside the frame you will see a 12 mm dotted line on all the sides of this particular panel. So this is something important to understand why these so many dotted lines are shown. You will also see that a dotted line has been shown at the bottom just to indicate the slab level and the finished floor level. So I hope this is clear to you. What is the uh, what is the construction of the folded door or folding door? And I think with this you can make a drawing of the folding door. If you have any queries, you can drop us a mail at architectsacademy at gmail.com. Thank you. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.